Hey, welcome back. This is Vosti3, Community Manager at Aggergame, bringing you part two of my two-part guide to complete the Ensemble Cast Achievement Easter Egg in Call of the Dead. If you missed part one of my guide that went over steps one through three, please check more info for a link. Now we move on to step four, which is one of the more difficult steps of the process, which is the dials in the lighthouse. Um, they start from top to bottom in the proper order, and I'm going to go through a algorithm that was created by Tack Insertion on Twitter, who uh, figured out a way that you can have the correct numbers every time, no matter what uh, the numbers start at. So I will walk you through that process. All right, it's important that you guys follow this next step process to the T. There's no room for really messing around, but uh, if you mess up, you can just start over with this algorithm. It's not that hard. So the first step is press purple until purple is at the correct number, six. The second step is press orange until blue is at the correct number, four. The third step is press yellow until orange is at the correct number, seven. And now you should have all the bottom three numbers at the correct numbers. Step five, you're going to press yellow until yellow is at the correct number, two. You have to count the amount of times you turn the yellow dial to get it to two. Then for step six, you press purple the same number of times you press yellow in step five. And then step seven, you press blue until it's back at the correct number, which is four. And then you're done. You'll know if it's correct if you go to the top of the lighthouse and the yellow is at two. Orange is at seven, which is the second level from the top. The third level down will be blue, and that should be at four. And the bottom level of the lighthouse, which is purple, will be at six. Also, to make this process easier, put a friend um, at the other location of the diode changing so that they can tell you when to stop when it's at the correct number. It'll make your life a lot easier. That way you're not running up and down checking the dials to make sure you got the correct number yourself. <laughs> All right, you may be wondering why I'm jumping into the next step, which is step five and the radios. Um, it's because there is no cutscene. There is no instructions after he tells you to get the golden rod. You're pretty much hanging on your own, and you have to do all the steps and figure them all out. So um, for the step, you're going to need to play four radios in sequence with your team. So everybody needs it to be a different radio. The first radio is located in directly below the power room um, 
It is by a sparking wire. The second radio is in the stamina up shack on some barrels in a corner. And then the third radio is on the front of the boat in one of the railroad carts um, located inside by some barrels. And then the final radio is in the room with the survivors underneath the stairs. So you're going to need to have your teammates play them in the correct order, which is the order I just gave you. The first person is going to play the one inside of the uh, boat um, below the captain's quarters, below the power room. Then the person, once the Morse code's done playing on the radio, he tells the next person to go, which is a guy by stamina up in the corner. And then when he's done, he's going to tell the guy that he's done, and then the next person's going to play their uh, Morse code radio, which is in the train, the train cart at the front of the boat. And then when he's done, he's going to tell the person in the room with the survivors where they're singing uh, 99 bottles of vodka uh, <laughs> to press the final radio. And you'll know that you've completed it correctly when, after you play the radios, uh, you'll see a yellow light in the sky, and you'll hear Morse code as well. Alright, so now we're on step six, which is the levers. You're going to go to the captain's quarters. You're going to press the left lever once, the right lever three times, leave the lever alone in the middle, and then you're going to move over to the captain's steering wheel and click it two times to the right. Um, this will bring up the submarine. You'll also hear the foghorn in a certain sequence, which is your next step coming up after this, and you have to replay the foghorns as a team in the proper order and to complete the next step. All right, so if you're still with me here, we're on step seven, which is the foghorns. As previously stated, you have to play the foghorns in order as you heard them when the submarine appeared. So you're going to put a teammate at each foghorn and kind of follow, follow the same process as you did with the radios earlier, where you have to click them in sequence. So the first foghorn that you need to play is the foghorn by the lighthouse, but furthest away from the lighthouse. Um, it's located on the ground near the water. The second radio you're going to need to play is the one in, by the Speed Cola side, so you go down the slide to get to it. It's the one closest to Speed Cola. The third one you're going to want to play is the one by the Lighthouse, which is the closest one to the Lighthouse. And then the last one you need to play is the one on the Speed Cola side again, but furthest away. So if you play them in the correct order, it should sound like this. It's over, huh? It's getting worse again. All right, so before we move on to step eight, I want to let you know if you messed up the foghorn order and didn't get the green light um, and the submarine disappears, you can reattempt it at the end of the next uh, round. You just have to complete the next round and you'll be good to go and try again. Um, so for the final step, you're going to need the VR11, and I also highly recommend that you have a scavenger. Uh, what you're going to do is go to the bottom of the lighthouse. You're going to shoot the guy with the VR11 who turns into a human. He runs into the green light. Uh, have your buddy with the scavenger shoot him and just unload your ammo on him. And he'll die and he'll float to the top and he will turn into the device that you need to complete the Easter egg. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and please subscribe for more. Hey, zombies! I made you a little snack! <laughs>
so much for your help out there. Another time. Goodbye. Yo, sauerkraut. You never did tell us why we came, wherever this is. All in good time, my clever Denji. All in good time. Oh, that's what you get for eating raw fish. 